Hello. Hi guys. Um, welcome to class number six, I believe it is. Um, live yoga uh, with Reef Point from my living room. <laughs> I hope you guys are well. Um, I'm going to wait just a few minutes or so to see if a few people come in and then we will get started. Um, yeah, uh, so if you're joining me now, just to give you a heads up um, for future classes, uh, if, if you still have access to Amazon, which I think you probably do, um, I want you to order two blocks. All right, these are cork but it doesn't really matter what kind of blocks you get. And ideally, a strap. So those I'll probably be using in my classes. If you want to get um, a gold star, then also get maybe a meditation cushion and uh, a foam roller. Also, another really nice tool that I have are some workout bands. So these are really good too if you don't have a strap. Um, also, I was learning from Kathy, uh, and if you don't have a strap, you can use a bathrobe um, strap. You know those things that go around your robes? So you can take that instead of a strap. But there you have it. Those are my little props that I like to use. So um, yeah, those will be helpful. But again, if you don't have any props, um, they're not necessary. They're just little training wheels that I kind of like to have around the house. So. Um, okay, welcome. Okay, uh, so I guess I'll start. My name is Melissa. Um, welcome to my all level vinyasa flow class. Today, um, we're going to do a pretty uh, over, overall class, stretching all parts of the body, just really getting into everything. Um, I understand we have had a pretty heavy weekend with new regulations coming in, and uh, it is from my perspective, a lot of chaos out there, and um, it's very hard to know what's going on, what to think, what to feel. Um, we're all in it together, you know? Um, and so as I was, I was thinking about theming this class, one of my very favorite lines from one of my favorite people said, sometimes your biggest blessing is disguised as your biggest nightmare. I love that line, and I thought that applied, so I figured I would share it. Sometimes your biggest blessing can be disguised as your worst nightmare. So who knows what's going to happen, um, but I, uh, what I appreciate is that we're all here practicing. We're all still committed to our health. Um, we're all choosing love, you know. Um, so thank you for being here. Thank you for practicing with me, the commitment to your health. Thank you for eating right. Thank you for being nice to people, for being nice to me, for being nice to yourself. These little things matter so much right now. We have no idea what other people are going through. Um, it's really emotions on all levels. So thank you um, just for being nice, right, for showing love and for finding those little moments in your day that are joyous. We need them. Okay. All right, guys. Um, let's start on our back. If you have your strap, take that or your bathrobe. Um, your bathrobe strap. So come all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest. And actually, before we start, let's take a few breaths. So you can start in Shavasana if that feels good. I'll start here as well. Place your palms facing up. Let your toes drop out to either side of the room. Tuck your triceps under just a little bit. Close down your eyes. And now bring your attention to your breath. Let everything go. Know that the only thing happening in this moment is your next breath in and your breath out. Again, take a breath in. Take a breath out. One more breath in. Really fill up the lungs. Exhale, let it go. Start to wiggle your fingers, your toes. 
deep breath. Rotate your ankles, your wrists, waking up. And on your next inhale, morning stretch. Reach your toes out long, reach your arms up, let your low back arch off the mat. And then exhale, pull your knees into your chest and then rock from left to right. All right, from here, you're going to send your left leg long and your right leg is going to go all the way up. Ideally, you're going to grab your right big toe with your peace fingers. If you have a strap, you're going to wrap that bad boy around the foot and pull it up that way. Otherwise, if you don't have a strap, you're going to be right here. The, the biggest thing to look for is a straight knee, okay? So none of this business to get your leg uh, just closer to your face. You want a straight knee. So maybe if that means taking one hand to your knee to press on it, that's what you need to do. Hold it in. If you have your toes, left hand comes to your left hip. And breathe here. For five. Four. Yogi toes on the left foot. Three. Two. And one. From here, we're going to open the hip. Keep your left hand on your left hip and open your right leg all the way out. Look over your left shoulder. Keep pressing that left hip down. Notice if it comes up, you want to keep it down. Squeeze your left leg. Yogi toes on your left foot for three. Two. And one. From here, inhale. Bring your right leg back up. And exhale, release. Bring right knee into your right armpit. Squeeze it way in. On your exhale, you're going to twist. Left hand goes to your right knee. Bring that right knee over to the left. Maybe scoot your left hip back. And then look over your right shoulder. You can have a cactus arm on the floor or tee out your arm palm face down. Look over that shoulder. Deep breaths. Bring it into the right ribs for three, two, and one. Back up you come, hug it in, figure four. Uh, right ankle over left knee. Interlace the hands behind left hamstring. Pull it in. And today let's go ahead and straighten out your left leg. Point the toe and flex. Point and flex. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Really hug that leg in for four. Three, two, and one. Make some circles with the ankle for five, four, three, two, one. Opposite direction for one, two, three, four, and five. From here, cross your right knee over the left knee. Really tight. So you may need to let your legs go, and then you're squeezing at your inner thighs. Bend both of your legs. Reach up and grab for either ankle. So you have opposite ankle, opposite hand. And then lower back down into this little knee pile. Hug it in, stretching out your hips. For five, four, deep breaths, three, two, and one. Relax, switch. So now your right leg is going to go long. Left leg is going to come up. And then all the way up it comes again. You can grab your strap, hook your strap over the foot, or you're grabbing behind the shin, or two piece fingers around left. So it's left hand, left big toe. Hold here, yogi toes on the right side. Right hand presses down through right hip. Hold here. Really pull it back. Make sure that knee is not bending at all. Super straight leg. So push the um, back side of your kneecap towards the wall. For three. Two, and one, open the hip, so open your left leg all the way out towards the left, right hand comes to that right hip, look over the right shoulder, and then hold here, yogi toes on the right foot, for five, four, ujjayi pranayama, three, two, and one, on your inhale, bring it back to center, exhale, bend, Right hand, left knee, cactus, or T out your left arm. Take a breath in, exhale, switch, or not switch rather, but let it fall over to the right. 
look over your left shoulder. You can take your left toes and tuck it behind your right knee if that feels good. Make sure that um, the goal is to have the left shoulder down. So if it's way up here, that's okay for today, but maybe you want to roll back over and not take such a heavy twist so you can keep your left shoulder on the ground and feel that stretch through your chest. Hold here for three, two, and one. Bring it back up, figure four, left ankle over right knee. Just like we did on the other side, interlace your hands behind your right hamstring. Pull it in, get a nice stretch for your left hip. And now lift up your right leg. And we're gonna point and flex for 10, nine, your pace, eight, seven, breathe, six, five, notice the feelings in the shin, four, three, two, and one circles for five, four, three, two, one, opposite direction for one, two, three, four, and five. Left knee over right knee, squeeze your inner thighs, bend up your right leg, left hand, right ankle, right hand, left ankle, pull it in for your knee pile and hold here for five. Deep breaths, four, three, two, and one, release. Very good. All right, from here, fingers behind the knees. You're gonna take a few spinal rolls up and down the length of your mat. Maybe if you're still warming up, this is where you stay. If you're a little warmer, your toes can touch, bring it back up. Toes can touch overhead for a plow, come back up. And then from here, you're gonna inhale forward and then reach. So. If you can see me, you're going to come to Baddha Konasana, the bottoms of your feet are touching. You're going to reach your arms forward, steeple grip, your palms are facing. So on the inhale, you're going to come back, touch, exhale, come forward, Baddha Konasana, reach forward. Here we go. For five, four, three, two, Last one, and one. Come forward, and then meet me in boat pose. So your version, toes can be on the ground, shins parallel, keep your back straight, lift your chest, hold here. Option to grab your big toes, and bring it all the way up. We're gonna hold. See how close you can bring your chin to your shins. For three, two, and one, relax, very good. All right, so from here, inhale to canoe. So come on down, the canoe, your legs are gonna be up, your shoulder blades are gonna be up, and then back into boat. We're gonna do that five times. Inhale down, exhale up, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three, two more, inhale. Exhale, four, last one, inhale, exhale, Ugh, five. Okay, cross at the shins, roll over and find your tabletop pose. A few cat cows here to get the spine moving. Inhale, drop your belly, gaze goes up. Straight arms, exhale, round, push the ground away. Really round your back. Inhale, the cow. Drop the belly, look up, and maybe look to the left and the right, opening up through the front of your neck. Exhale to round, push, push, push. Let's do three more just like this, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Nice. A little bit of wrist. Flip your fingers to face your knees and take some hip circles. For three, two, and one. Opposite direction for one, two, and three. Flip your palms to face up. Make a fist and open. Fist and open. For five, 
Four, this helps with your arm balances. Three, two, straight arms if you can. And one, relax. All right, come up to sit on your toes, to stretch out your toes. Um, and then from here, you're gonna reach your arms actually up. I don't know if you can see me. Let's see if I can move back, would that help? All right, you're gonna reach your arms up, open your fingers, and close. Open and close, as fast as you can, and when you make a fist, as tight as you can. For 20, 19, stretching out the toes and the fingers, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, breathe, 10, 9, 8, 7, whew, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax. All right. Come into your plank pose. So you can always modify plank by staying in tabletop pose. Knees can be down. Otherwise, you're going to come up into your plank, straight uh, arms. Um, round your back just a little bit like you're doing cat. And we're going to tap your knees and then bring them back up for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. From your side plank, lift your right arm all the way up. Both feet are down. If you'd like, you can stack your feet. It's really up to you. Any version of side plank you want. And then on your exhale, back down. Inhale, open to the left. Left arm goes up. Exhale, back down. We're going to go back and forth here, just warming up the obliques. So your pace, again, starts to move for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Feet back in your plank pose. And on your exhale, downward facing dog. Pull the belly in. Push the ground away. So imagine that you're in your handstand. That's how straight you want your arms. You're really pushing, right? Push through your thumb, your first finger, your belly's in. Uyana Banda, right? So you're lifting your belly in and up. You're lifting your pelvic floor, Mula Banda. You're looking at your belly button, so your chin is tucked into your chest. If your heels are up, that's fine. See how close you can get them to the ground. They don't have to touch, that's just the goal. Rotate your armpits towards one another, and you're pushing the ground away. Shake out the head. And you can move any way that feels organic for you. I'm going to take my left hand to my right ankle and do a little twist, preliminary twist, for three, two, one. Switch, left hand comes down, right arm, left ankle, look under that left arm for three. Push the ground with left hand for two. And one, bring it back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Let's open the hip and make some knee circles. So just to get into that joint for three, two, one, opposite direction for one, two, and three, right leg high, look forward, exhale, low lunge. Plant your right foot between your hands. You can bring your left knee down here, right, or your hands come to your right knee, shift forward, feel the stretch in your left hip, relax your shoulders, relax your face. You can untuck your back toes, if you want, reach your arms up for Salamba and Junayasana. Kneeling crescent. Option to interlace the hands and flip. Bring them up for three, two, and one. Half splits. Shift your hips back. You can use blocks here if you'd like. So stay here or come into full Hanuman Asana. Splits pose. Hold wherever you are, getting into that right hamstring. It's 4.30 in the afternoon, so you may have a little bit more mobility here than the morning classes. Hold for three, two, and one. Bring it back up. Easy twist. Left hand down, tuck your right toes, lift up your right knee, push that left heel back, and then right arm goes up to the sky. Open your chest. Keep your right knee in rather than falling out to the side. Look up at your right thumb. Three, 
So your left fingernails are in line with your right toenails. Two. And one, lizard, right hand inside right foot, heel toe your right foot over to the outside edge of the mat. And then kind of play with this a little bit. So you can shift your hips back, straighten up your right leg, come back forward into lizard, a little bit of free motion, getting into that right hip, getting into the right hamstring. So you can keep your back pretty straight if you're coming down into whatever this kind of modified pyramid. Hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. From here, take your right leg all the way up, shake it out, and then vinyasa. Right foot comes down, high to low push up. On your inhale, come into your plank, slide forward. Exhale, bring your elbows to the outside of your ribs as you lower all the way down. Untuck the toes. Inhale. Cobra or up dog, look up, look to the right, look to the left, stretching out the neck. Really get your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, think about your handstand, push the ground away. Straight arms, straight legs. Um, if you do well, you can bend your knees actually if you want to elongate your back a little bit more. Up to you. Inhale, left leg high in the sky, open the hip, make some hip circles here for one, two, three, opposite direction for one, two, and three. Inhale, left leg high, look between your hands, exhale, step it all the way through for your low lunge. And breathe. Right knee can come down, untuck your right toes. Hands come up to the left knee, shift your hips forward, stretching out that right hip. Lift your chest. Notice your shoulders. For the longest time, I always I notice that I'm doing this, right? Soften the shoulders, relax the shoulders, and, and keep the chest up. Engage your mula bandha once again, your pelvic floor, uriana bandha. Push into the top of your right foot. And an option for salamba anjane asana. So interlace the fingers once again. Arms all the way up. Look up. Three, stretching through that right hip. Oh, two, and one, half splits. Hands come down. Straighten up left leg. Notice if that right hip wants to sass out to the right, do keep it above the right knee. And if that feels good, you can start to take your left heel forward and your right knee back. If you have blocks, you know the drill, you can take a block under your left hamstring. Or you can also use the blocks to give yourself a little stability here so your hips are square. There's a tendency for people to kind of lean over like this in order to get to the full pose, but you do want your hips to be square on the, on the earth, right? And by the earth, I mean the third floor of this apartment complex. <laughs> I think uh, I can certainly get in the habit of saying the earth when it's not the earth. It's a very carpeted third floor situation. <laughs> so I've actually come to think of it, not done yoga on the actual earth more than like five times since I started practicing in 2015. Oh, that's maybe not true. Maybe, maybe 10 or 15 tops, but I always worry about the dirt, you know? <laughs> All right. From here, hands come down, slide that left heel up. And then we're going to take our easy twist. So your right hand is going to come down, tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, and then your left arm goes up. Look up at the left thumb. Hold for three, two, one lizard. Left hand comes down inside left foot. Heel toe left foot over to the outside edge of your mat. And then again, do the same thing you did on the other side. So for me, it was almost like a pyramid. So you're straightening through the left leg and then back down into your lizard. You're keeping your right leg pretty straight. Inhale and exhale. Just breathe here. Keep your belly tucked in. Keep your chest looking up when you come forward into that lizard. Let's stay for five, four, three. Breathe. Two and one. 
Three-legged dog, lift it up, shake it out, and then exhale, vinyasa, left foot comes down, inhale, high plank, shift forward, exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Three breaths, inhale, feet are shoulder distance, exhale, push the ground with the hands, inhale, lift your belly, exhale, chin to chest, one more breath in, shift the hips back. Exhale, see if you can lower the heels just a little bit more. Good. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk, step, or jump all the way up to your forward fold. In your forward fold, your knees bend, your head is on your knees, chin is to your chest, and ideally, your fingernails are in line with your toenails on the floor. Okay? Shake out your head. Feel all that stretch in the hamstrings, in the back of the neck. Deep breaths for three, two, and one. Slowly roll all the way up to standing. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. And we're going to do a few. Oh, hey, Sarah. Yay. OK. We're going to do a few sun salutations. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see me okay. There we are. All right, big toes touch, separate your heels just a little bit. Inhale, reach the arms up for mountain. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Fingernails in line with toenails, forehead to knees. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, cheddar on the walk step or jump, high to low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk, step, or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, head to knee. Inhale, reverse, all the way up, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, walk, step, or jump. All the way down. Inhale, up dog. Shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, walk, step, or jump. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse. All the way up, mountain pose. Woo. Exhale, thumbs to heart. Again, reach it up, inhale. Fold, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Strong, straight arms, inhale. Belly in, exhale. Chin to chest, inhale. Last exhale. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees with forward walk, step or jump. Up dog, excuse me, half lift, inhale, exhale, fold, inhale, reverse, all the way up, exhale, thumbs to heart, inhale for chair, sit low, biceps behind the ears, squeeze your legs, deep breaths, take a breath in, fold on your exhale. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Pivot your left foot down 45 degrees. Step your right foot up. Inhale, warrior one. Square your hips to the front. So right hip is back, left hip is forward. Arms are strong and straight. Yogi fingers are turned on. You can't really see them, but there we go. Okay. Take a breath and lean back. 
Exhale, chaturanga, hands come down, high to low push up. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Warrior one, left side. Place your right foot down, 45 degrees. Step your left foot up. Reach it up. Pause here. Square your hips. Pull your belly in. Soften your shoulders. Take a breath in, lean back. Exhale, vinyasa, high to low push up. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk, step, or jump. Up dog, and first, excuse me, half lift, inhale. Exhale, head to knee. Inhale, reverse all the way up, press your palms. Exhale, thumbs to heart. Again, inhale, chair pose, sit it low. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, right side. Chaturanga, exhale, all the way down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Warrior one, left side, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, lift up your heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, walk, step, or jump. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse all the way up. Exhale, thumbs to heart. All right, we're gonna practice our crow. So, you can stay in Malasana. This is yogi squat. Use your elbows to open up your knees. If you are ready to practice your crow, hands come in front, knees come to your triceps, round your spine, look forward, start to lift up one foot, then the other, then maybe both. Hold. Stay here, option to take it into headstand if you like. Keep practicing your crow. Five. If you're up, squeeze your legs straight up. Four, shoulders away from the ears. Mula Bandha. Three, Ujjayi Pranayama. Four. And five. From here, bring it back into your crow. If you're in crow, stay there. And then shoot it back. So from here, think low push up. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Very nice. Okay. From here, go ahead and bring your knees down. Let's see. Okay, cool. We're going to practice a little bit of balance today. Um, so I'm going to take this <laughs> big bat out of the way because it's really cushy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it affects my balance. Um, it's nice on my knees, but it affects the balance. So I'm going to... Bring this back just a little bit. All right, and come to stand on your left. Okay, also, get your strap ready. You don't have to. These are just options. Or one of your bands. But first, we're going to start in one-legged Tadasana. So lift your right leg up. Flex your right toes. Thumbs come to your heart. Hold here. Notice my right hip is a little bit up. You see that? I'm going to try to bring that down and your left hip up in place so the hips are square. Breath in. And on your exhale, we're going to go for figure four and squat down. Deep breaths. Tuck your belly in, tuck your tailbone. Let's see how low you can go. For three, two, and one. Right two piece fingers. Grab your right big toe. This is, another, this is an opportunity for your strap or your band. Otherwise, you're just going to reach it up. Now, if you don't have those accessible, you can be right here. So you can keep bending your right knee. Otherwise, you're going to hold your right big toe. If that's fine, start to lift it up a little bit higher. Ooh, hold. For five, four, 
three, two, and one. Open the hip. So open your right leg to the right. Look over the left shoulder. Hold, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back. And then from here, you're going to come into dancer pose. So bend the leg, catch the right foot with your right hand. If you have a strap, so you can pause for a second. Come on, I'm just going to do a little tutorial. Your strap comes around your right foot. And then you backpack it over your right shoulder. And then at that point, you can start to walk your hands up the strap. Okay, so that's the strap option. If there's no strap, then you're right here. Your right hand is on the um, inside arch of the right foot. Left arm is by your ear, and you're kicking your foot into your hand. Option number three is if you have one of these little workout bands, you're going to wrap it around the foot. And then same thing as the strap, right? King dancer, prep. And then kick your foot into the band. So we're going to hold wherever you are for five. Four, three, two, and one. Relax. All right. Tree. All right, so a little different today. You can be in a kickstand here. Let's see if you can bring it up into your inner thigh. And then I want the right knee as far out to the right as possible. Um, so you can hold it here. If you're ready, and this is super comfortable, you can start to go into half lotus. So your left heel is going to be up, your right knee is going to go down. Um, if you have it without holding it, great, I'm not quite there. I'm going to hold my left foot. So you can stay here, opening up that right hip, careful of the knee. If there's any pain, go back to your tree pose here. If you're fine in your half lotus, start to fold. So your belly is going to be on top of that um, right heel. And then come all the way down. <sighs> Stretch it out. Ideally, bring your chin down to your left shin. For three. Deep breaths. Oh, that feels really good. Two. And one. Relax. Come on back up. All the way up. And switch. OK. Other side. So now your right heel is going to be grounded. Press your palms. One leg into the asana. Lift your left leg up. 90 degree bend. Make sure your hips are square so that left hip isn't rising up. They're even. Right? Flex your left toes. On your exhale, figure four. Left ankle over right knee. Bend your right knee. Tuck your tailbone slightly. Keep your belly in and have a seat to stretch out that left hip. Hold here. For three, two, and one. Right hand comes to your right hip. Left two peace fingers wrap around the left big toe. Open it up into Utita Padagustasana. Otherwise, you're here, okay? So open it up. If that feels fine, lift the leg even more. Hold, five. Single point gaze. Find something that's not moving to look at for four. Soften the shoulders. Deep breaths for three, two, and one. Open the leg to the left, and look over the right shoulder. Hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your left leg back to center. And on your exhale, you're going to come into the dancer pose. So bend your left leg. So again, option number one, left hand is going to be on the um, arch side of your left foot. And then you're going to kick your foot into your hand like your wine glass, and your right arm is up. Strap or bathrobe cord. <laughs> you're going to hook it around your left foot. Backpack it over your shoulders. And then walk your hands up. If you're doing that, keep your elbows in towards your ears. And if you have a workout band, again, it's going to go around that foot. 
Bring it all the way up. And get, we're going to hold wherever you are. Find your pose for five. Deep breath. Four. Three. Two. And one. Relax. Woo. Those bands are good. So if you guys want one, just send me a message, and I'll see what I can do to get you guys one. Um, okay, tree pose. So your right foot is down. Come into your tree. So the left foot goes into the inner right thigh. Open up. Woo! Open up your left knee. I don't know what that sound was. <laughs> okay. So you can stay here or go into your half lotus. So left leg bends. Right hand grabs the top of the foot, so the foot is facing up. Get that heel up as high as you can, and then see if you can lower that left knee. If there's any pressure on the knee, go back to your tree pose. If this feels okay, then you're going to start to fold. Otherwise, you're going to stay in your tree. All the way down you come. Fold. Oof. For three. Two. And one. Slowly start to come back up. All the way up. And relax. Beautiful. Okay. Moving on. Let's do some hip stuff. So we're going to come into single leg pigeon when you're ready. Right leg first. So if you know where we're going, go ahead and get into it. I like to come into it um, from my down dog. So I lift my right leg up and then right knee, right wrist. And then I see on a daily basis how parallel I can get my right shin to the top of the mat. Scoot your left knee back. But first come up, pull your belly in. And then on your exhale, bring it down to your elbows. Push into the top of your left foot to keep your hip square. Notice if you want to lean over to that right hip. You want to stay right on top of it. And then straighten your left leg, like squeeze your left leg. And breathe. Yes, that line, your greatest gift is sometimes disguised as your worst nightmare. I love that quote in spite of, or because of what's going on, but also that has proved to be very, very true in my life. I had a horrific trauma in 2017, and I thought my life was over. And that turned out to be the biggest turning point and the biggest blessing I could have ever asked for. And I never would have done it on my own had this trauma not happened. So that line has really come in quite helpful and has rung true for me. Um, yeah, let me know if it's true for you. Is that, it's certainly horrible things seem to happen, but then there's this gorgeous rebirth on the other side, you know? And we are not privy to the future to see what, but I think it's, it's the quality of life um, can't even be perceived by us at the moment. You know, when we're in the middle of it, we're in the fire, we can't see it, but there's this gorgeous thing on the other side. So if we can breathe and we can stay alive, there's good things to come. All right, from here, roll over onto your right hip. Let's go for double pigeon. Um, if you, so I'll, I'll coach double pigeon, I'll give you a modification. So do you see that your right knee is in line with your right hip? And then your right shin is parallel. So you see this little like 90 degree angle going on. Your left leg is gonna swing around, left ankle on top of right knee, stack the shins. If you have um, this big gap here, you can use a block or, your, or a pillow or something. That could be a pillow too. That would be really nice. Or you can use a block. Blocks aren't as cushy. Um, if this is just um, horribly painful, then take your left shin on top of your right for easy sit and fold. For those of you in double pigeon, you can stay here. Um, also, you are welcome to take half lotus as well. That's another variation today. So however you feel. I think I'm gonna stay in double pigeon. I like it. Stack the shins. This is also called fire log pose. Flex the feet. And then if you have it in your practice, start to come down. 
And even if you don't, see how far you can come down. If that's not comfortable, you are welcome to stay right here in meditative seat. Let's see if you can breathe through it. And walk your hands all the way over to the right and fold and breathe, letting your hips open. Walk it over to the left, fold over the left leg and breathe. Up. Let's take a little twist. So your left foot is going to come outside the right thigh. And then your right heel is going to come into your left glute. Notice how your left glute wants to stay up. Bring it back down. Take your left hand behind your back. Right arm goes up. And then exhale, twist. Right elbow outside, left thigh. Look over your left shoulder for three. Two. And one. Back to center, take a counter twist, walk over to the right, bow to the center of the earth, come on back up. Before we go to the other side, let's take Hashimoto straighten out your legs, get the flesh out from under your sit bones, bend your knees, take a breath in, reach up, exhale, fold, belly to thighs, flex your feet, inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. <laughs> and something on my toe. And I'm betting it was <laughs> some chocolate that I dropped earlier in the day. <laughs> the joys of a home yoga studio. <laughs> Could have been bud from my dog. I took the dog for a walk this morning. All right, come back up. Other side. Um, if you want to come back into your down dog to get into single leg pigeon, feel free. So I'm going to do that. Downward facing dog. Breath in. Exhale, left knee, left wrist, parallel the shin, scoot your right knee back. Come up first, take your left hand and then open up that left thigh. Really press into the top of your right foot, belly's in, and then exhale, start to fold. And breathe. You know, I, I keep trying to think of something inspirational to say because it's such a weird time. And to be honest, I have nothing. I have nothing. I don't know what to say. I do know that I love yoga and that has helped me through so much in life, including that 2017 crash I was telling you guys about earlier. Um, yeah, but I, I've never seen anything like this. And I just feel really grateful that we're all here still practicing yoga in this weird forum in the middle of my living room. I have I have nothing, no more inspirational things to say. I'm just really happy you guys are all here with me and, and we're still doing, doing our thing, however that looks. And that we're holding on. All right, walk it up. Double pigeon, so left knee is in line with your left hip. Parallel your shin. Take your right leg, swing it around. Um, again, you can take your meditation cushion and put it under your right knee. Uh, again, if that's if that's painful, um, then just regular sukhasana, so easy seat with your right chin on top. Otherwise, we're going to be in double pigeon. Flesh out from under the sit bones. Stack those shins one on top of each other. Breathe in. And on your exhale, stay where you are or fold.
I guess I can say like kind of what I'm experiencing is outside um, when I go for a walk, it's really quiet, like eerily quiet. There's a very strange energy, you know, that I'm experiencing. Hold it over to the left. Um, and I don't know whether it's, I don't know what that means, but that's what I'm experiencing. I feel when I go to the grocery store, which isn't very much, I usually, you know, but when I do go to the grocery store, I feel like this sense of panic. And I don't know whether it's mine or whether it's just the vibe in the grocery store. Um, but it's just a very interesting time to be alive. Walk it over to the right. I have looked for toilet paper. I hear there's some, some weird thing going on. Luckily, when this started, I had enough. I have four rolls now <laughs> left. <laughs> and I didn't ever think I would be the person that would be running around looking for toilet paper. But if you guys have any inside scoop, because those four rolls aren't going to last me forever, just let me know <laughs> where to go. Uh, walk it back to center. Lift it up. And then your right foot is going to come outside your left leg. Your left heel is going to go into your right hip. Square down. So get that right hip all the way down. Right hand behind your back. Left arm high. Breath in. Exhale to twist. For three. Looking over your right shoulder for two. And one. Come back to center. Counter twist to the left. Back up and then exhale, release. Okay, all right, make your way all the way down to your back. We'll kind of close it out here. Um, so if you have a roller or a Dharma wheel, I would kind of, I mean, we have so much time now. Order a roller and a Dharma wheel. So you can kind of roll over your back a little bit. Um, if there's no roller that you have, then we're gonna do some bridge poses, okay? So bring your heels in close to your glutes, palms face down, inhale, lift it up, press down through your palms, look straight up at the sky, squeeze your thighs, lift your pelvic floor, hold here for five, four, three, two, one, lower down, windshield wiper your knees, getting into that lumbar spine. Let's do round number two. We're going to do three rounds. So if you want to take full wheel, off you go, right? Otherwise, um, also, if you want to do more of a restorative, you can just place your hips on a block. That might feel really good for the remaining two. So your choice. Um, round two, interlace your hands behind your back. Slide your triceps under and lift. Hold. Press your palms, five, four, three, two, and one. Release your hands, lower down, windshield wiper the knees. All right, last one. You can do version one or two, or go into your full wheel if you're ready. Um, fingers face towards your shoulders. Get your legs prepared, so heels and close to your glutes. If your back hurts, they can be wider, okay? Um, on your inhale, so exhale everything out, and then inhale, push all the way up. And hold for five. Or push your chest between your arms. Three, two, and one, lower down. Once you wipe your knees or hug your knees into your chest. And then from here, go for your inversion. So you can do leg up the wall. Waterfall, you can have a block and put your hips on the block. Or shoulder sand all the way up. So we're going to hold it for one minute. I'm going to do headstand. Um, if you're coming with me, 
Make a basket weave, back of the skull in the hands. Start to walk your feet all the way up towards your elbows, and then once you can't walk them anymore, up you come. Deep breaths wherever you are. Some kind of inversion with your legs up. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. If you're in shoulder stand, come all the way down. Come into fish pose as the counter if you're in headstand. Make your way all the way down. Take a quick child's pose. And then from here we'll meet in Shavasana or meditative seat. So I'm going to take I think a meditative seat today. You can sit on your block if you have one. Um, I think I'll do that for your meditation cushion. So have a seat on your block and the reason you're I'm sitting on my block is because my knees are pretty high. Um, you want to get your knees lower than your hips. So I put one heel right kind of in the middle of the crotch. <laughs> you cross the ankles. So see how now the knees are nice and low. Then you can stack your shoulders. Actually, I need to scoot back a little bit. All right, so palms facing down for grounding, palms facing up for some guidance. If you don't know which one you prefer today, one of each. Keep your chest lifted up, close down the eyes. Breathe. Deep breath in. Breath out. Breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. So we're going to stay here for about a minute. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. So if you don't hear anything, um, I will come back in about a minute to close this out. But do see if you can stay here and focus on the breath. See how much you can relax, let go, surrender to what is. Soften the muscles, soften the face, soften the thoughts. Feeling light. Every inhale, bring light into the body. Every exhale, letting go of some fear. Inhaling health. Exhaling fear. Breathe. All right, when you're ready, start to breathe a little bit deeper. If you're in Shavasana, moving your fingers, your toes, ankles, wrists. 
If you're in your meditative seat, start to breathe a little bit deeper again. If you're in Shavasana, make your way into infant's pose and then come up to easy sit. And join us here. When you get there, release your hands from your lap, bring them down to the earth, and then sweep your arms all the way out. Gather up all that peace, that good energy we just created. Press your palms, exhale, bring your thumbs down to your heart center. Tuck your chin. The light, the teacher, and the student in me recognizes, honors, and reflects that same exact light, teacher, and student in you. Namaste. All right, guys, thank you again for a beautiful practice. It's so different not being able to see you. <laughs> so um, I hope this practice has served you in some way. I will be here 4.30 on the weekdays. So please join me for some sense of normalcy as we continue to witness all of these changes um, going on. I'm here with you. I don't know what to say, um, but I'm proud to be part of Reef Point. I'm proud to be um, your teacher. I'm proud to be also your student. Um, so thank you. Um, if you do feel a need to donate, you can donate to Reef Point Yoga here um, on Venmo. Yeah, and otherwise, I will see you guys on the mat again really soon. I love you. Thank you. Good luck. See you tomorrow.